welcome back to my channel and welcome to this week's vlog. I am Ashley if you are new and if you are new, I don't know what that was. <laughs> If you are new, please go ahead and stop what you're doing. Do me a quick favor. Hit that subscribe button as well as that notifications bell so that you and I can become acquainted and so we can do things like this on the regular. So, you guys, um, this week has been one hell of a week. Like, it's it's been a hell of a week and we're only like halfway through it when I'm filming this, that is. It's been a lot going on. Um, good things, of course, you know, just I'm not one that likes to be uncomfortable <laughs> um so but you know they say that you grow when you're uncomfortable so i'm looking forward to the growth that is beyond this week that is but anyway how did y'all week go um obviously i know y'all gonna be watching this once the week is over uh, apparently i still got this bump on my chin and it is driving me insane girl but anyway i was just <laughs> what i one thing i did want to talk to y'all about is i was just in the chat on Instagram talking to my friend Tanya. Hey Tanya, if you're watching this, if um, that's my girl. But anyway, she was telling me that Cartier had a price increase like just the other day. And I heard like, I think an inkling, an inkling. I heard uh, rumors that there would be a price increase soon with Cartier. I think it started over in Europe first and then it was supposed to trickle over to uh, the Western hemisphere or whatever. Well, maybe Europe is in there. Anyway, it's supposed to trickle over to the U.S. soon, and apparently it already took place. And they actually had, like, I think it's between 10 and 20% of a price increase. So, with that being said, I'm so happy that I got my ring when I did, girl, because it was already high enough. Like, we didn't need to have to pay another premium on top of that. And um, what's crazy is that since I have been bitten by the Cartier bug, well, I, quite honestly, even before I got my ring for my birthday this year, I have always wanted Cartier pieces, like most girls. Like I've always wanted, you know, pieces from the Love Collection, Justin Clue, etc. I've always wanted pieces. I don't know why I didn't purchase before uh when i was like you know when it was cheaper that is well when it was less expensive because let's be clear it was never cheap girl especially for just some 18 karat gold um it was never cheap but it definitely was less expensive like most things chanel all these different you know brands was cheaper you know years ago and i'm like why was i buying the stuff that i was buying when i should have been buying jewelry however i'm glad that i didn't because of course Cartier sizing is very particular and you really can't size you know size up or size down maybe size down and add like a sizer to your uh, your ring or something but you really can't size up so since I was so much I was bigger you know years ago whatever I had whatever I would have acquired you know years ago wouldn't fit me now anyway so I guess that kind of worked out I could have resold it but the resale value because their sizing is so like they go like there's a size for every fourth size so since they have so many sizes i don't know if the resale value is um the same as like a chanel or even like a rolex or something like that because of the the, the variation in sizing so i don't think i would have been able to basically make my money back it, especially damn show sure wouldn't have been able to make a profit but uh but the funny thing about it is like i said i i've been bit with the cartier bug before i had a piece but now that i've had a piece when i went into the store i was trying on different things and i definitely wanted to get something again like this year but with this price increase i think i'm gonna sit that thing out like i think i'm just going to uh yeah i think i'm gonna bypass i did want like a small justin clue ring and i wanted to get another uh thicker love band like this one but i wanted the pink gold one I wanted a thin one of course i want a bracelet like i or just include bracelet that is i don't really want a love bracelet but uh or kind of i would i do but probably the thinner one but uh but anyway i digress i just wanted to come in and talk to y'all about the cartier price increase because these brands are getting out of hand it's like you don't try to realize this is a recession but what i'm also realizing is that these luxury brands and i probably should have been known this they don't give a damn about us not 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 people that are buying stuff like one or two pieces a year like myself like they they're more so catering to people who are you know spending tens and thousands or hundreds of thousands of dollars annually so uh they're not worried about little of me basically but uh but anyway other than that uh oh y'all i have something fun coming up this week 
um basically what i'm going to do is my first day trip i'm really hoping that it goes successfully uh because for one i'm flying spirit to go to this day trip it's only like a uh, like literally a couple of hours of me being in the city so i'm going to be flying out like saturday morning and then i'm going to be back in atlanta later on that night first time i've ever done like a day trip like this before so i'm really hoping that it goes smoothly and I'm a little nervous, of course, because this is my first time flying Spirit, but the, ch the ticket was so damn cheap. Like it was like $64 round trip, and that includes taxes and fees, like who, who could turn that down? And the fact that I don't have to check a bag or even take a carry-on because I'm only gonna be gone for a few hours, I'm like, how bad can it go? <laughs> like how, even if I have to sit like in a middle seat, which I absolutely despise, it can't be that bad because I'm only gonna be gone for a couple of hours. So as long as these flights are not delayed and they take off on time, my plan should go as um, as it's supposed to. And it's also gonna be, and I'm, not, I'm, I'm gonna show y'all, of course, in a couple of minutes, you'll see where I'm going. And again, fingers crossed that everything works out smoothly because obviously I haven't gone yet. Um, when I'm filming this, but I'm really hoping this is gonna be my first time going to this place never been before and um, So I'm super excited. Uh, just want to go, you know grab. I'm gonna be meeting my sister um, I know I probably never even mentioned that I had a sister, but I have a sister an older sister and um, We never met in person before Can you believe that? Yeah, so basically like I was saying is my sister and I my only sister and I uh, we share the same father and um, she found me randomly like it, the funny thing about it is we've been talking for like nine years uh, she found me randomly on Instagram mind you I have a I know you know anyway I, <laughs> this is it's probably sounds personal like too personal but it really isn't because we're family here we're friends here uh myself as well as you but uh but anyway we she found me on instagram like in 2014 and um so we've been talking like you know pretty consistently since then but we've never met in person and i've met uh, my father has like four kids so i've met uh all my siblings and my mother has two kids or whatever so or had you know she you know um but anyway so she's the only sibling that I have that I've never met in person and the only sister that I have. So I'm super excited to, uh, I know her, obviously. I love her. She's my flesh and blood. But like I said, I've never met her in person. And I had to share that with y'all because I know y'all understand how big of a deal that is, um, especially as a woman or a girl who has never really, I've never grew up with like a sister. I grew up with brothers or boys or whatever. So, or my brother specifically so anyway super excited uh not only to see her well most importantly to see her to spend a little time with her but also to enjoy her city again i've never been to this particular city i'm going to say that as a surprise for you guys <laughs> um that you'll see within the next few minutes or whatever as the blog the vlog continues that is so anyway so this week has started off you know a little crazy but it's going to end off girl I know they ain't no damn net. I hate them damn nets. But anyway, <laughs> you know, summertime is about to be summertime in Atlanta. So, you know, they be outside. But I try to keep them outside instead of coming inside. But I digress. Uh, so anyway, like I said, this week started off kind of crazy. Uh, but it's going to end off like with a blast. So I'm super excited. Again, I just hope that keep your fingers and toes and arms crossed and legs crossed for me that my plans go, my itinerary goes as follows as it pertains to my flights departing and arriving because you know how uh, the big yellow bus does and I, like I said I've never flown Spirit so this is kind of a test run for me especially for a day trip so again super excited I'll be bringing you guys with so let's have fun um also you guys I need a new show to watch a lot of my shows have gone off like of course Snowfall's finale was last week um uh, what else something else went off that I watch all the time I forgot oh ready to love ready to love ready to love is kind of a drag but it's a little sensational from like a dramatic standpoint so i enjoy watching it but those couples don't really ever end up together unlike like mary at first sight like some of them people really be end up together for years having babies multiple kids stuff like that ready to love it just seemed like people be coming on there strictly for clout for the most part um but i still enjoy watching the show especially watching you know nice looking black people 
uh, on TV. I enjoyed that. So that went off last week. They do have a new season coming up soon. But um, and then of course Snowfall is gone. So I need to fill up my uh, some of my TV shows that I've been watching. The reason why I watch, I love TV, but I also I work out and I get steps in so um, in front of my TV like throughout the day. So I'm able to do that by watching TV. So that's the reason why uh, I need I always need shows to watch. <laughs> and actually, I have went back on Peacock as of lately, and I've been watching like the first couple of seasons of Atlanta Housewives, and that has been very interesting. Uh, when Phaedra came on, honey, it was she was she was something else. She was a very uh, different type of character. Like uh, uh, I forgot about all of that and the drama with Kim and Nene. So anyway, if you have any show suggestions that you love, please comment down below. Let me know. I was watching Keiko's video, uh, her favorites video this morning on the treadmill, and she mentioned that she finished the, the new the newest season of the show You with Joe on Netflix. I love you, but for some reason I couldn't get into finishing part two of this past season. So when she said that it gets better, just kind of power through it, I was like, okay, I need to go ahead and finish that. So I'm gonna go ahead and download those episodes so I can watch them on the plane actually uh, this weekend. But uh, anyway, let me stop blabbling. If you are a returning subscriber, hey girl, hey, hey boy, hey. If you are new again, hey, welcome. Please, com please follow or subscribe to the channel because uh, we would love to have you over here and with that being said well, let's get into the action so of course i need to show y'all these sandals y'all i saw these uh jerry Micia, who i love uh i love her fashion um i like her the channel as a whole but i think she is a um uh, i really love her fashion style or whatever but anyway i saw her mention these sandals on a video not too long ago i think it was something about spring summer pieces uh ad or not something like that anyway i'll link her the video down below that i'm talking about and have her name across the screen but uh but basically she showed these sandals on the, in that video and y'all instantly they was on my mind i absolutely had to have them i tried to use the link that she had in her uh on her video of course because that's what you do <laughs> when you are you know taught when somebody to put you on something you use their link like if that's just you know what you're supposed to do however the link that she had to these shoes was from neiman marcus and they were sold out of course because she talked about them in a video and she sold them out so anyway i had to find them somewhere else so these are the shorts my first pair of shorts uh anything sandals shoes anything these are the shorts in nola sandal and um initially i was like you know what i don't know if i want to get these because they was 150 dollars for um i thought shorts was supposed to be like a more affordable brand however when i saw that they were real leather i said yeah run that back <laughs> and as you can see with this sandal i got these in a nine and a half they only come in like half sizes they don't come in whole sizes i think or not if i remember correctly um, or maybe they come in all the sizes, but they also come in half sizes is what I'm trying to say. So if you know, if you remember the Celine sandals with the big buckle, like the black Celine sandals, this is like Phoebe Philo Celine collection. Um, they had, she had like these really big, let me see if I can find a picture too. And I'll insert it here on the screen. So y'all can see what I'm talking about. Um, but basically those sandals were super popular and of course as an archive piece they're very hard to find but these are very reminiscent of them the buckle on these is like a bamboo style buckle y'all i'm obsessed i'm obsessed so these have like a bamboo style buckle so the salines are just a little bit different and they're black these come in black also and they in addition to black they come in like a cream or like an off-white color which that color is cute too the black ones are cute too but i would only get those if they were on sale but this brown color just it just did it for me so super happy to have these uh let me show you guys what they are. I should have took them out the box before I showed y'all. This is like a impromptu in my boxing. Damn. So anyway, like I said, I was like, damn, 150 is kind of a lot for like a, you know, like this kind of like Birk, whatever, like a, a Jesus sandal, Birkenstock style type sandal or whatever. 150 is a bit much. Oh, it comes with a dust bag. Okay. So that's giving um 
Hi, yeah, y'all. I'm so ashy. I'm always ashy. I just woke up. But it came with a dust bag. Okay, Schultz. And I ordered mine from Nordstrom. So I just Googled uh, the Enola sandal. They also had this in like a platform or like a, a heel, a sandal with a heel on them. But these are just so cute. I'm so happy to have them. Uh, yeah, I just need this bamboo. Like, of course, they're real leather. So the quality is good. They're heavy. Um, I love the color, especially with the with the gold. And um, they're really good quality. I can already tell. Like, they're heavy. The leather is real. So they were worth 150 basically. So super happy to have these. They will be, you will be seeing these a lot on me this spring, summer. Let me try them on and see how they look. Y'all gotta excuse my toes because I need to go get them done like um, like yesterday, uh, which hopefully I will, I will be going to get them done today. But these are so cute. The only thing that I will say is, well, it's not a bad thing. It's actually a good thing. They're very much so wide feet friendly <laughs> i don't have i have a, a i don't have the skinniest foot but i don't have like necessarily a wide foot anymore but the way that they came buckled i was concerned because it looked like they were already um as tight as they can be because they are a little loose on my foot just a little bit um but they so cute y'all I love them. Like, I low-key want to get the black ones, but like I said, I'm, I would only get those. Because this color, I just love neutral, and I think they're going to be super cute. Well, even all black, I should probably got on my pajamas, y'all. Um, but yeah, super cute. Mama likes them, and um, they're chic, and they are giving Phoebe Philo Celine without that price. And uh, yeah, what y'all think? Mama loves them. This is the nine and a half. And I was worried because they didn't have a 10. And I'm, I'm a true nine and a half, sometimes even a nine. And, but I get a, a lot of times I get tens because I don't want my hand, my my heel hanging off the back. But they're perfect. And I think I might make this one just a little bit tighter. But white feet, white feet friendly, super cute, super chic. I'm happy. So I may or may not have ordered one more, replaced one more very, very small uh, Sephora sale order before the sale is over. Uh, so I'll show y'all what that is because I don't even, I know it's a concealer. I think it might just be a concealer, but anyway. Um, also, I picked up some stuff from H&M. So let's see what that is. And this banana powder came from Amazon. <laughs> But anyway, I got these t-shirts. I just uh, needed some t-shirts. You know, I'm a t-shirt girl, so I got this burnt orange color, this lilac one. But this little beach bag, let me show y'all what it looks like. So this is the H&M t-shirt. It is a large, but it's giving extra, extra large as H&M uh, shirts normally do. <laughs> but I think it's gonna work. I like an oversized t-shirt anyway. And of course, you know, I'm gonna cut the neck off because I like to show a little clavicle. And then of course I got it in this color too. And these were like, I don't think they even have, but anyway, they were like, well, probably $10 or something like that. I don't know. So this is the little H&M, like it's supposed to be like a beach tote or whatever, but I will likely, I might just take it up to the pool and stuff when I'm like hanging out for like the summer. And then um, two, I'm thinking that it's really big, as you can see, it's huge. <laughs> but um, I'm also thinking, y'all see I'm obsessed with those sandals. But anyway, I'm also thinking to make this into maybe a grocery tote. I don't know, but she's super cute. This is from H&M Home. Hmm, interesting. I just stuffed it a little bit because it was like giving no shape. <laughs> I put a couple pillows in it, but she's so cute and I got 25% off. So I want to say it was like, it was less than $20, but she's huge and she's cute. And y'all know how obsessed I am with black and white, of course. So there's that. <laughs> so from the my last Sephora sale pickups, um, everybody on TikTok and maybe even, in, maybe even YouTube, um, have been raving about the Sephora collection best skin ever concealer so I definitely picked up one of these what color is this in 35 in so I'm hoping that this is a good item I love their um 12 hour 
uh, eye pencils or whatever. So I put, and I love them in brown specifically. So I picked this one up. So those are the only two items. Those are the last two items I got from the sale. And then with my 100 points, um, I picked up this Necessary, the body lotion. So I'm gonna put this in my purse because I know you girls love Necessary. <laughs> I've never tried it because it's just a little, you know, uh, expensive for my, uh, you know, whatever. I try not to spend a whole lot on body care, but you know, if this is amazing, I'm sure I'll get a full size, but I was happy to get that, to try it out. And then like I said, I hope that this uh, concealer is banging because I know this is the shit. But do y'all see this combo? Like y'all can get tired of me talking about these sandals, but I absolutely love them. So you know, I gotta tell y'all what I love so much. But anyway, how perfect is this picnic basket bag i showed you guys i picked it up from zara a few weeks or maybe a month or so ago perfect gold hardware brown leather brown leather this leather is just a smudge darker but it's gonna blend real nicely and it has gold hardware like how freaking fracking freaking cute spring summer Let's go, baby. Let's get it. So, the trip starts. I'm in the airport, waiting to board. So, I'm about to head into duty free because I just can't help myself. And something is really funny ahead of me. And, um, yeah, so far, everything is moving seamlessly. I'll keep you posted. I can't help myself. I just can't help myself. I was about to have plant envy, but that's not a real plant. <laughs> oh, because it says it's under it. Okay, man. Yeah, it's just, yeah, it's just a full fish. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Look good. I should take a picture too. Wow, that looks like a better version of Bang Bang. Girl. <laughs> okay, yeah. So this is my fit of the day. Um, this is the only dress that I brought because it was only a day trip. So this is the only thing I could kind of fit in my in my purse. But I'm just excited about these. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Oh, that's my signature. With a red Corvette, baby, you're much chip <laughs> So apparently there's a Wizard of Oz exhibit. So we're at the Hard Rock. Aww. Oh. Okay, you just want to get this. 
Exactly. So just like that, I am back in the Fort Lauderdale airport. Uh, just after being here, like what about six hours ago? So day trip has gone perfectly so far. And what I'm about to do is go over here to cassava and get some empanadas because I wanted to try some once I was down here. So they have a place in the airport, so I'm gonna try out cassava, but we about to board in probably about 45 minutes, so let me hurry up. So, correction, the place in the airport that has the Cuban food is not called cassava, it's called casavana. Just a quick correction, but y'all, Fort Lauderdale Airport is a breeze. So this is what I picked up at the empanada place. So, I don't know which is which, but I got a beef empanada. I also have, oops, oops, oops. I have a chicken empanada. I don't know which, like I said, I don't know which one is which. They both look the same to me. And then I even have a ham and cheese croquette. Mmm, I'm about to taste it right now. Mmm, it's good, y'all. Did y'all know they still have 4040 clubs? They have a 4040 club in the Atlanta airport. I never knew that. Just like that, your girl's back. I'm tired. Too challenging. Hey, you guys. So, your girl finally made it back home. <laughs> uh, Y'all, today was so fun. Like, it was just as fun as I anticipated, if not even more fun, like I told you guys. Um, well, essentially, and I was trying to do, like, to do, like, a quick before I left and got, like, this morning before I left to go on the flight. I was trying to come and update y'all and tell y'all where I was going, but for somehow, somewhat, well, I was moving too slow and ended up about to be late, so I had to hurry up and skedaddle. <laughs> but um, but basically, I went to Fort Lauderdale. Now, I thought I was going to Miami because I'm thinking that we were going to go to Miami because my sister lives in Miami. So I've never been to Florida, never been to Miami, never been to, never have been to the state of Florida, obviously. I never have, obviously, I haven't been. Obviously, I have. As you can see, I'm a little delirious at this point because I've been up all damn day. Anyway, never been to Florida. Um, never met my sister in person before, even though we've been talking for like nine years. So that was super amazing. So I got this concept to do a day trip off of TikTok. I don't know if I said this in my intro. I saw some girls on TikTok. They were actually from Florida. And they did like a day trip to go to like uh, New Orleans. And they were there from like 7 o'clock in the morning until like 10 o'clock at night. So I got to like doing Google flights and I found a flight for $64, y'all. Now this was Spear, this, I think I did tell y'all this in my intro. $64 was the flight um, round trip. So I basically got to Fort Lauderdale this morning at like 11 a.m. and I got back home by 10, 8, 10 p.m. tonight. So your girl is beat, she's exhausted. However, I just wanted to recap it for y'all. Had so much freaking fun. We went to the beach, it was called Dania or Dania Beach or whatever. Um, had some uh, mango mimosas, they were amazing. Then we went over to this place called, I think it was DD on the beach or something, Gigi on the beach. And that was where we had like, it was for me, it was a crab cake Benedict on a biscuit with like some bacon. They had their own version of like a bang bang sauce. We had arable spritz. My sister had a mahi mahi uh, sandwich. The food was just banging. After that, of course, we went to the Hard Rock uh, Casino or whatever, which is in Fort Lauderdale. Had some drinks at the bar, some more appetizers, and just really had bonding time. So y'all, <laughs> my heart is so full. I'm just so happy. If you know me, you know I've always wanted a sister. So the fact that I had one all this time, and she's my older sister, and I never really got to have time with her as uh, as a youth. We definitely are making up for our lost time. So shout out to my sister. I love her. She's the best. I had a ball. I cannot wait to go back to Miami. This time I'm going to fly into Miami because since I had such a short schedule, we didn't really have an, a lot of time to go. I wanted to go to Ball Harbor. I wanted to go to Goyard Store because I've never been to the Goyard Store before. Your girl really wanted a car case, and I'm just get that the next time I go down there because I definitely will be going soon. But I'm going to fly into Miami this time so that way I don't have to do a whole lot of trekking back and forth. But yeah, y'all, like I said, I am beat. As you can see, I didn't came home. I already put on my pajamas. Even with the toothpaste on it, I didn't even care. I had to come in here real quick, recap the vlog for y'all. But I had a ball. If you made it to the end of the vlog, I greatly appreciate you. If you are thinking, please, you should consider a day trip. Check out Google Flights if you have some really good deals from time to time. 
and um and it's really fun so you can you know kind of no luggage i just literally took my purse and i had the little dress that i put on inside the purse so it was like perfect but um but anyway i digress i'm tired i'm ready to lay down <laughs> If you made it to the end of the vlog, thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to, of course, like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys and dolls in the next one.